Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J-Man Time and today I have a video on some rare Finnish anti-tank weapons from the Second World War, also known in Finland as the Winter War and Continuation War, or Talvi Sota and Jakku Sota, and also the Finnish Lapland War with Germany in 1944. Now during the Second World War, Finland actually had a very hard time coming up with anti-tank weapons and even purchasing anti-tank weapons as at first Finland did not choose a side in the conflict. They were neither on the Allied or Axis side for at least the first year or so of the Second World War. It wasn't until 1941 that Finland began to side with the Axis powers, mostly just Germany, Romania, and Hungary, as Italy was too far away for the most part. And this was largely due to the fact that Germany had already invaded the Soviet Union during Operation Barbarossa in August of 1941, and Finland was technically still at war with Russia from the Winter War of 1939 through 1940. But during the Winter War and Continuation War, Finland had very few anti-tank weapons at first, but later developed some of their own anti-tank weapons that would become standard issue throughout the conflict, and later the conflict with Germany, as later on in 1944, Finland would kind of turn against Germany, and Germany and Finland would go to war and what was known as the Lapland War of 1944. So let's go over some of the rare Finnish anti-tank weapons from the Second World War. The first and oldest anti-tank weapon on the list is the Finnish Lati L-34 20mm universal anti-tank and anti-aircraft auto cannon from 1934. This was a very limited production anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapon. It was developed by Amo Lati, the famous inventor of various weapons like the Lati Lati Solaranti L26 light machine gun and the Lati 35 semi-automatic pistol. And another weapon is on this list, the Lati L39 anti-tank weapon or anti-tank rifle. But his first anti-tank weapon was in 1934. Now this weapon here was chambered for a universal cartridge, the 20 by 113 millimeter B anti-tank cartridge, which was actually developed by both Germany and Switzerland during the late 1920s. It was used in various German and Swiss anti-aircraft guns. Now Finland actually did purchase some anti-aircraft guns from both Germany and Switzerland during the early part of the Winter War and before the Winter War, but only a small number at first until Finland began to side largely with Germany from 1941 onward. Afterwards, they began receiving German anti-aircraft weapons like the Flak 30 and Flak 38. But Finland had already developed their first anti-aircraft slash anti-tank weapon in 1934, and that is this weapon here, the Lati L-34. It was chambered for the 20 by 13 by 113 millimeter B cartridge and was fed by either a 15 round magazine or a, or a 45 round pan magazine and had a rate of fire of 350 rounds per minute. Its maximum targeting range was 4,389 meters or 4,800 yards, but only a small number, just six or so guns were used by the Finnish Coast Guard as either anti-tank weapons or anti-aircraft weapons, and also anti-ship weapons on some of the Finnish naval vessels. They were also used as anti-tank weapons on the ground as at least one or two of these guns were used to take on Soviet tanks during the Winter War of 1939 and later on the Continuation War. Now these guns are super rare, keep in mind. Only six of these were ever made, or were at least only six of these were ever adopted, and they are so rare that there are very few photos of these weapons in use during the Second World War or during the Winter War period. Another rare Finnish anti-tank gun was the Lati L-35-36. This was a Finnish heavy anti-tank machine gun developed between 1935 and 1938 and was used in limited numbers in the Winter War of 1939 to 1940. It was chambered for another cartridge, the 13.2 by 118 millimeter B cartridge, which was based on the same round used in the German Tegewehr both action anti-tank rifle from the First World War. Its armor penetration was 12 to 22 millimeters, and it was fed by either a 15 round metallic strips or 15 to 20 round drum magazines and had a rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute. Its maximum firing range was 5.4 kilometers and only a small number of these were made and used during the Winter War of 1939 
make it some of the rarest anti-tank weapons used by Finland in that portion of World War II. Afterwards, they were retired and replaced with the Lati L-39 series of anti-tank rifles. There was also a second version called the Lati L-35-36 and this second version was fed by a 15 to 20 round drum magazine. This second variant was much lighter, but only a small number of these were also made and used from 1939 onward. What made this weapon even more fascinating or rare is the fact that it was the main armament of a rare Swedish Finnish armored car called the Landsverk L182. The Landsverk L182 was a rare Swedish armored car that was manufactured for Finland. The Swedish Landsberg company was hoping to get a contract, a large contract for armored fighting vehicles from Finland, so they manufactured this Landsberg L182 in the hopes that Finland would purchase this armored vehicle in large numbers. It was fitted with the Lati L35-36 as its main armament. Unfortunately, Finland didn't take hold of this idea and the concept was abandoned, but the prototype that was built by Landsberg was still given to Finland and Finland would use this prototype during the first winter war of 1939. And this is one of the more advanced Finnish vehicles of that conflict of that conflict and it will remain in service throughout the second world war so this is also a rare finnish armored fighting vehicle that was manufactured in sweden with the hopes that finland would buy more of these vehicles or would order more of these vehicles from the swedish landsberg company and then there is the most famous finnish anti-tank weapon of world war ii the lati L-39. The L-39 was a semi-automatic anti-tank rifle developed between 1935 and 1938. It was chambered for the 20 by 138 mm B cartridge, which is both an anti-aircraft weapon and an anti-tank cartridge, and an armor penetration of 25 to 35 mm at a range of at least 400 meters to 6.5 kilometers. It was fed by a 10 round box magazine that was placed on top of the weapon. Only 1,900 of these weapons were manufactured, but they were some of the most common Finnish anti-tank weapons of World War II. They were so useful that they could also double as long-range, large-caliber sniper rifles. They were also used as a artillery weapon in a way also. And they were also famously used as anti-aircraft weapons to shoot down Soviet and later German warplanes. So this was kind of an all-in-one rifle. It was an anti-tank rifle. It was also a anti-aircraft weapon. It was both an anti-tank rifle an anti-aircraft weapon, and a sniper system all in one. It's similar to what you see with most modern anti-material rifles or anti-tank rifles that are in use on the modern battlefield. Another rare Finnish weapon from the Second World War was actually a Finnish copy of a famous Swedish anti-tank weapon. And that weapon system was the Tempala VTT-37-36. This was a Finnish copy of the Swedish Bofors 37, which was a Swedish anti-tank gun from the early 1930s. This copy went into production in 1939, and some 355 were produced for the Finnish armed forces during the Winter War and later the Continuation War. This weapon was chambered for the 37 by 257 millimeter anti-tank shell, and it could fire about 10 to 12 rounds per minute. Its armor penetration was 22 to 70 millimeters at a range of 500 to 1,000 yards, and it had a maximum targeting range of 6 1,500 meters or 7,108 yards. And this is one of the few rare Finnish anti-tank guns that were manufactured during the conflict. Keep in mind, Finland mostly used anti-tank rifles in terms of the weapons they produced as anti-tank weapons. An even rarer anti-tank weapon is the Finnish 76 millimeter RK-27-38. And this was a Finnish copy of a Soviet regimental gun or howitzer or field gun that was used by the Soviet army captured by the Finns. The Finns would later reverse engineer this weapon into an experimental medium sized anti-tank gun and a regimental gun from 1943. It was chambered for the Soviet 76.2-167mm shell, which was actually a howitzer round, 
but the Finns would use this weapon as an anti-tank weapon, as a close quarters anti-tank weapon. It had a maximum rate of fire of 10 to 12 rounds per minute and a maximum targeting range of 4.2 kilometers or 2.6 miles. Now only a small number of these experimental guns were manufactured and used for a short period of time during the Continuation War from 1943 to 1944, but they were soon retired and replaced with more modern German anti-tank weapons that were purchased by Finland from Germany just before the Lapland War of 1944. A very rare gun that many anti-tank weapon enthusiasts had probably never heard of, based on a Soviet gun that was pretty common in the Soviet Red Army. And then there is one of the rarest and most advanced anti-tank guns manufactured by Finland during the war. And this was an experimental gun known as the Tempala 75mm K-44, which was an experimental anti-tank gun developed between 1943 and 1944. This was Finland's attempt at manufacturing their own medium caliber anti-tank weapon. Now there were two variants. The first variant was chambered for the 75 by 714 millimeter anti-tank round, which was an experimental round that was based on the same round used in the German Pac-40 anti-tank gun. And there was a second version chambered for a smaller 57 millimeter 501 millimeter rimmed anti-tank shell. And this was based on the 57 millimeter ammunition used by some of the finished coastal artillery. Some of the finished coastal artillery units were using old World War I vintage 57 millimeter Imperial Russian artillery. And this weapon here used an experimental shell that was based on that naval artillery. The armor penetration was 150 millimeters at 1,100 meters. And this here was only an experimental weapon that never saw any frontline use. This weapon system was considered to be Finland's most advanced anti-tank weapon system developed during the war. But unfortunately, the war between Finland and the Soviet Union ended before the weapon could even be put into production. And then the Lapland War between Finland and Germany began the same year in 1944. So after the war with Germany was concluded, Finland really didn't have a need for this weapon system, at least at that point. Because during the year of 1944, Finland would drop out of the war. Finland dropped out of the war and they signed sort of a ceasefire agreement with the Soviet Union and with the Allied powers. So the Finns actually didn't think they needed this weapon anymore. And it wasn't until the Cold War that Finland brought back the idea of manufacturing this weapon system as standard issued. But by that point, it was already too obsolete, so the project was completely abandoned by the mid-1950s. Only at least two or three of these prototypes still exist at some of the Finnish war museums. A very strange weapon and a very advanced weapon that came way too late. Imagine if Finland had this kind of anti-tank weapon at the beginning of the Winter War in 1939 or even the Continuation War in 1941. They would have been able to take out even more tanks than they were with the anti-tank weapons they did have in 1939 and 1941. So a pretty cool weapon that came way too late and was never put into production. And there you have it. These were the Finnish made anti-tank weapons of World War II. Now Finland did have anti-tank grenades and landmines, but I'll save that for another video. Those weapon systems will be part of a video I might do on Finnish grenades and landmines. But what do you all think of these rare Finnish anti-tank weapons, the anti-tank rifles, anti-tank machine guns, and anti-tank guns. What do you all think of these? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.